Okay, a bit of an update on our last two experiments. The cap charger. Our first one, if you remember this battery here, was the one we were using that we punished for two days. Um, this battery was cactus and when hooked to this charger here, the needle would hardly move, wouldn't accept anything. So, um, after that two days of getting high voltage pulses put through it, um, and at the end, for the last eight hours or so, we actually cranked it up to a 240 volt only system, which meant that this was getting hit with 240 volt pulses from our full wave bridge rectifier, and um, I decided to actually hook it back up to the charger and see what would happen. Now, even on low, when I hooked it up, it would peg the amp meter because we pulled this right down to 2 volts, if you remember. Um, the charger cycled for about half an hour and um, slowly the current started coming back down. So it's been sitting here for about the last 3 hours, about uh, 1 and a quarter amps. So um, this is actually taking a charge now. So um, once it's fully charged, I'm going to uh, place our bulb load on it and um, see how close we are to the 12 amp hour rating. So um, the cap charger, although uh, didn't show us any free anonymous energy, um, certainly looks like after two days that it's um, made this battery a little more healthy. So that's a good thing. Right, our next project was the in-series motor battery charger desulfator reconditioner. Um, and as you've seen at the uh, start of the video, uh, which was my last video, as predicted once the um, charge battery started to climb in voltage and get closer to the uh, run or the supply battery voltage, the motor started to die. We then give it a bit of an enhancement and um, it would was showing signs of um, actually working as a uh, battery reconditioner. Now I run it for half an hour but unfortunately this El Cheapo um, Chinese motor, our old 12 volt air compressor, got seriously hot as in sizzling hot if you drop water on it. So, um, which is most expected, there's absolutely nowhere for air to get into this thing anywhere. So um, I'm actually going to drill some holes in the front and back cover and um, mount a fan blade on the front here set it up in a stand and uh, see if we can uh, keep it cool that way because it does look like it was actually working so um, although it doesn't work as described the inlines or the series battery motor charger air conditioner free energy device um, no hope in hell but it looked like it may have um, had potential to work as a battery reconditioner also. Now I'm not sure if a standard motor will work the same or whether you'll have to um, disconnect every second segment on the armature uh, to get those nice clean spikes going through the battery. So that's the update on those two. Um, cap charger definitely wasn't a waste of time if this battery comes good because it's been sitting for um, a couple of years that I can remember. Um, it was actually out of that UPS which was given to me a few years back and uh, yeah the batteries were no good in it both of them. I don't know where the other one's gone. I'm hoping I might be able to find it but this one I've had kicking around and um, it looks like we may have uh, got it back somewhat un unknown yet but we'll see. Alright so our next experiment is going to be this little free energy device where we can pull um, energy or power from the ground apparently. So uh, here we have copper plate bent in a U shape like yay which I have here. This is copper plate out of an old transformer from a three phase welder. I have rolls of it. Comes in very handy. And some stainless steel tubes. Six of them in this case. Now I can't find out any information. I've lost the um, information I had on it um, and I'm just going on memory but um, I don't know what, I can't remember what size the stainless steel tube is supposed to be but we'll be using these stainless rods here and apparently 
you um, put some germanium diodes in this fashion through the copper back out again and we should get somewhere around 3 volts out of the N2 stainless pipes now if um, if they were gelf pipes you might see something like this work um, but of course your uh, zinc will be slowly being depleted but um, this in this case we're using stainless steel tubes so neither of the two should um, rot away to nothing the copper plate may turn a bit green but anyway um, germanium diodes I have found these in my junk box little glass diodes I don't know what they are I'll have to uh, get the magnifying glass and read some numbers and see what they are exactly so I can't give you that information at the moment but nonetheless this is the next one we're going to be putting together and trying so uh, 3 volts should be enough to light an LED um, depending on current but um, if it just won't, if it won't light an LED across there and we do have some voltage across there we can try one of our little garden light circuits which only um, consume about 3 milliamps and they will run on as little as 800 microamps so let's see how we go with this one